everyone. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. It's always good to have you back here. First off, I want to say, do not try this at home. You know what they say, don't do what I do, do as I say. Well, we've been putting off, putting up a tire swing into this tree for many years. We have had a branch dangling down from a storm probably before we even moved here or right after we moved here. So 10 years, we finally decided, hey, we could just get up on the backhoe, use a real long two by four. I think we had a 12 or 14 footer. He was able to get it off of the little crotch of the tree and push it down. That's all been cleaned up. We got rained off of some work today, so we had a little time. Trey is lifting him up in the backhoe bucket. That's Trey right there. Dad's up there. And he wants to put it way out. And I thought it should be further in this way because when I was growing up, three or four kids would get on a tire swing. So he's got a brand new thing of rope. This is half inch. Um, I think it said 400 pounds. I got some 3 8 inch rope at Menards the other day and we got it home and it's a braided rope with another braided rope on the outside and it had herniated itself somehow. I think my child may have punctured the outer layer when he was opening it. So we took it back to exchange it and they were sold out. Yeah, it looks like he's sticking with that spot right there. We're in a funny lighting situation right now. I'm under the tree. We had a rain shower pass by and we're still like an hour maybe from the sun going down. So we had this truck tire, brand new, never used in a trailer. He said he's never gonna use it for anything. We had some old tires that he thought maybe that wouldn't be so good. Little tiny car tires, not so much, you know. But when I was growing up, one guy would sit here, one guy would sit here, and another guy would sit in the middle, and we would swing like crazy. Well, Murdoch's probably almost as big as I am, maybe a little less. He is about five foot six, and Jack is easily six foot right now. The little guys are four foot and three foot. And I, I know that Trey's over five feet because everybody's taller than grandma. Oh, look at this. So we figured with this section of rope, it was 75 feet for about $15. So it's a little less than the other that I had gotten. We can take two ropes and do an old fashioned wooden swing. I had done that at the workhouse last year and the kids were out there all the time swinging. They just loved it. So we're gonna probably add just a regular swing off of this branch here because we've got a very old play set back there. And that was free from a guy that I went to high school with probably eight years ago. And it's wobbling with the weight of these boys. And I don't think as old as it is, it'll handle much more abuse with, you know, 300 pounds of kids rocking on it. So this old tree, it can handle it. Oh. Yeah, not too high, cause Georgie. Yeah. Yeah, how are you gonna cut it? There's scissors in the car. Now I'm not quite sure how to do this. We actually did not Google this and we haven't done a tire swing for our kids ever. We're terrible parents. <laughs> but we always had tire swings growing up. These play sets didn't exist back then. So we're deciding if we want to wrap it around a few times to give it a little something more to kind of secure the tire. We want to keep it low enough for George, but not so low that the kids are gonna weigh it down and have it drag either. This was a real good way to do it because it's sitting on the backhoe bucket to keep it up off the ground. That was idea. What? That was Trey's idea. Oh, wait. We need to, uh...
carpet. They go on the other side. I'm interested too, Murdoch. I gotta run the backhoe. He's hard to get other work out of. He will vacuum for me, and he's very good at that. And he's like the number one in that. Or if I get the carpet cleaner out, he likes to do that too. But when it comes to picking up things, he does like to mow. He's just like his dad. He doesn't do housework, he doesn't care. He doesn't do laundry, he doesn't clean his room. Oh. I can put another loop in it. Yeah. Because we didn't know. This is a little stretchy. Yeah, but so's the branch. Oh, that's okay. I'll lift it up, okay? See how hot it is? His shirt is all wet. Raise it up. We didn't know. Yeah. Oh. And some pine yeah. Jack, could you fetch the matches so we can melt the end so it doesn't keep unraveling? Matches. Oh. And just like that, the tire swing is down. See them? They're all excited. They can't wait. Jack went to go get the little guys because I thought we were done. But that was before I saw how low it went. So, you can pick up tires for free. There are disposal fees at a lot of tire... There are disposal fees at every tire place. So, they will... Um, if you pull in and ask, probably give you or sell you a tire for five bucks. I'm already there. Okay. Oh, over I. talking themselves through it as they go. <laughs> I think it's just grass for mowing. Yeah, yeah. More like a rope. We were working on outside on that tank over there and it said it had a 23% chance of rain right now. And it started thundering and blowing and it rained. And now it says 83% chance of rain for the next hour. 
so we're not going to get back to painting until tomorrow. So this is a good way to end the day. You're seeing the same thing I am, honey, see? He has to hold the tire. Put his feet through first and then he'll He's so small he can put one foot in. Okay. He could sit sideways even. So that he can hang on. Okay, See? George. Let's put one foot in. Like saddle. Yeah. Oh. I always just did whatever my big brothers and sister did. Okay. Hang on. He can sit however he's comfortable. How's no, that? He probably can't hang on good that way. Can you hang on to this rope up here? Does it work? Uh, I can't <laughs> They can't teach him because they haven't had experience with it. See, what's he going to hang on to? You like that better? Yeah. You like it better. Maybe we, could, maybe we could bolt some of those handles on it from like the play set. Okay, let's have him right towards mom. Here he comes, mom. Hang on. <laughs> He's got his hands through the rope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bethany, too much. All right, Trey, you better hook onto the back of this to get this kicked out of here, okay? Ah. Yeah, they could hit the back of their head and not know it. Okay, can you put her on the top and see if it'll hold her? Watch your feet. Ready? Ah, I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'll get you. I'll get you. <laughs> That's why you don't drive all the way to like Michigan Adventure or Cedar Point. They do it for two seconds. I don't like it. You think you'll like it better on the bottom? Because this this does feel small and hard to hang on to, right? Yeah. It's slippery. Yeah. A lot of times when I've seen these made, they do it with a chain. And then they probably just bolt the chain and across the road there was one hanging from an old walnut tree and I, uh, I don't know if I trust that. Um, our walnut tree has probably two good branches for it over there but it's in full view of the road and no view of the house so we can only see the kids on it if um, we were in the backyard so this was a good spot for us because we can check on them right from the back door or right from the living room oh we got our operator here this is my next painting project we took the wheels off for painting this is the third time it's being moved in the last two weeks it was brought from out back and parked here. Well, we had to move it so that we could work on the tire swing, and he moved it there. And now he's realizing with the swinging and the momentum, got to move this some more. I love painting up underneath this tree because you get a lot of shade and a lot of protection, and you can still see what's going on down the road and not really just be out in the front yard. Now 
when you're pushing them, you have to not shove it because it starts spinning. She's got scared. Okay. You took it off. I don't know. Well, looky here, everybody. I've been up to no good. Well, some good, but a little bit of storage trouble. We get into these situations and sometimes you got to dig yourself out. Well, we've been cleaning up the shop and doing a lot of things. And one thing kind of leads to another. We stopped in to talk to that neighbor about fixing his hay tatter. And he told us about an auction that was coming up. People haven't been watching the auctions. A lot of it is online auction and you just go uh, for inspection dates to pick out what you want do an inspection and you know make sure that it is in um, the condition that you would expect it to be before you bid so that you don't back out on it it's a good alternative and then you're just sitting in the cozy of your home when it's 90 degrees well this is what I walked away with so with my husband being in the fuel oil business, we've already known for a long time that all this stuff really brings um, a lot of collectors as far as, you know, price-wise and things like that and people wanting them for their shops and, you know, making their own little museums. If you remember the old Bennigan's restaurants, they had all of this stuff all over their entire restaurant and it wasn't just petroleum stuff. It was everything, you know, laundry soap containers and anything advertising. So, I pulled up this auction website and different things. So, this is one of the first things I saw. A lot of eight, uh, these are grease cans or five-gallon buckets. And I started looking at them. Now, this DX one is kind of unheard of, but that could bring a high dollar. This was just a junker that was some paint kind of stuff. This Zep one was in another lot, a uh, newer product, but it's a neat container. But look what I found. So I pulled this up on Etsy. And this one bucket was about $150, $160 or so. So that I knew just real quick looking at that without looking at the others in the lot was worth bidding on the entire thing. I think I got the eight cans for $45. They charge, I think it's a 10% buyer's premium. And that money goes to the auction house. And if you want to pay with credit card, they charge you another 5% or something. So, you know, you just show up and you pay cash and you avoid that. So I got two different lots with these marathon cans. And that's what he dealt with originally back in the 80s and early 90s. Um, we've got a great big marathon sign. We've got a couple of golf signs. Well, holy heck, as it happens, my battery died and my car was right there by the edge of the driveway. So I sat in the car to plug in my phone and find out why it had died because it's reading me the wrong percentages. A storm kicked up absolutely out of nowhere with tornado-like conditions. So this is just after and it's calmed down a little bit, but we're having some drizzles. So I brought everything real quick into the shop because things were blowing and I didn't want these cans to get damaged. All these are gonna be listed for sale on the Etsy shop. We'll have them for sale locally as well. You can see we've got those big golf signs that are back there. Those are six foot tall signs. So if there's a particular can that you're interested in or anything, let me know in the comments down below. Go over to the Etsy shop, get it ordered because I don't know how long they're gonna last. So due to the weather, we're gonna make this a short one and we'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching, bye-bye.